Kaylin Schlater's first degree murder trial continues here today. Yesterday, he took the stand in his defense and gave the jury his version of events the night Tess Ritchie was killed. He claims when he left her, she was alive and well. Well, today, Crown Attorney Beverly Richards picked apart his story under cross examination by painting him as a liar. Yesterday, Kaylin Schlater testified that he and Tess Ritchie had fooled around in the bottom of a Church Street stairwell for about 40 minutes, and that when Tess told him at about 5 o'clock in the morning on November 25, 2017, that she didn't want to have sex, that didn't bother him at all, he said, and he left her alone there. The Crown refuted that. She fired at him. She struggled with you, didn't she? No, she did not, he said. You were angry that she would not have sex with you, so you strangled her and left her there dead. Schlater said, as he said numerous times on the stand, I did not kill Tess Ritchie. Earlier, the Crown pointed out some of the times Schlater has lied to his friends in text messages and to strangers. Only sometimes, Schlater responded. Bev Richard said, you lie when it's to your advantage, Mr. Schlater. I lie to protect myself, he answered. You do do that, don't you? Court was shown extensive surveillance video from that night, footage that shows Kaylin Schlater and Tess Ritchie walking together down an alley towards the stairwell where Tess's body was found, and then of him leaving alone. Richard points out that his body language is much different. He hugs the fence and walks slowly and haltingly. Court was also shown a photo of the stairwell. Yesterday, Schlater said several times that when he left her, she was sitting on the railing. Today, he said, Tess was sitting on the concrete that the railing is attached to. Richard said, you can't get your story straight because Tess wasn't sitting at all, was she? She was at the bottom of that stairwell dead. Schlater also testified today that he had never been down that alley off Church Street before and was not very familiar with the area. Richards pointed to his cell phone records that show that he is often in that area and suggests that he's in fact very familiar with it. She also noted that right after Tess Ritchie was killed, his phone suddenly disappeared from that cell tower site and she can guess why. Schlater responded, I did not kill Tess Ritchie and I was not trying to avoid that area.